and we're up. We're up, we're up. I shouldn't be here, but we're up in here. We're up, we're up, we're up. <coughs> okay, it could be short this morning. A short meaning like shorter than usual. It's 8 o'clock now here. There actually is a print party here this morning at about 9.15 and 9.30. I really wanted to shut the whole place down. I know none of the staff is here. The trains are all stopped. There's a couple of the Yamanothi lines running, but it's going to shut down about 11 o'clock. So the whole train, Tokyo train system, shutting down this morning. And they expect to get back up and running tomorrow at about noon. So, of course, the staff can't get here. I'm here by myself. None of the staff have come in. And I should be out in Ome. I'd really like to try and watch over the house out there a bit more carefully. This place is tight. It doesn't matter. But i got to be here. There's a print party this morning. They asked. There's people who are staying in a hotel in the district here. They have nothing to do. They're shut down. The whole town shut down. But they reserved a print party this morning. Eight people. So I'll be doing that with them. They've asked to, to have that up and running. So I had to stay here this morning to do that. And while I'm here... Whatever. I can't start the printing. Some of you were expecting me to do a printing job this morning, working on the gift print, and I would really like to be doing that all day today. But uh, I can't start it, do a print party, and go back. So I'm going to just sit here and kill time. We'll just block for an hour. They come for the print party. Then I'm going to head upstairs and hibernate for the rest of the day, doing the printing. Then we brought a cone inside the sandbags there. You can see we've got some sandbags ready. And all. the thing about this typhoon is it's weakening a bit right now. So we're not expecting to blow any buildings over or whatever. But it's going to be the wettest, wettest thing we've ever seen before. They expect this to be the heaviest monsoon type rainfall non-stop. And uh, we, we had a flood here five years ago. This district had a flood here five years ago. So that's the one thing that could happen to this shop this afternoon, this evening. We could get a bit of water out in the street there. So I've got a few sandbags ready. More than that, I can't do. Here in the shop, I know there's nothing on the floor, I think. I'll make another pass after I'm finished here. So if we did take some water, it shouldn't destroy any prints and stuff. Is this a typhoon that will be in the cold air? You tell me. I have no idea. After this one blows out, it'll either be more hot, humid air from the south, or it'll be uh, cold air from, from China. No idea. The coffee bench will float. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're not expecting much here at all. You know, My mother's watching, so I've got to be careful. It's just a typhoon. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. You know, I would rather be in Ome, because in case a window breaks, I could quickly fix it or something. You know. But, uh, Anyway, 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 I have no other real news. There's no specific show and tell here today. I'm just going to sit here carving for a while. Uh, maybe those people will come. You'll see them coming in the door. I've left the shutter halfway down. There's nobody outside. The street is absolutely deserted. This morning I went out to the convenience store to try and stock up, just get a couple of sandwiches or something. So I got food for the afternoon. You know. And it was stripped bare, absolutely bare. Yesterday when I went to get my lunch at the supermarket, it was just like locusts, whatever. Just people were just buying everything. And the convenience store this morning was bare. I got, I got some frozen food from the frozen food section, so we have a microwave up here. We have a visitor. Can you see this? A little guy crawling here? A little knight. Can you see this? Just at the tip of my knife. Oops. Didn't mean a scary guy. Can you see him? Running away? Don't know if the camera will fit, fit, fit in that, that closely. It's a little mite, like a dust mite or something. Can you see it? Okay, here, move, move, move. You're clear. There he is. He's walking right in front of my knife here. There he is, up on top.
It's a super calm out there right now. It's this, you know, calm before the storm kind of a thing. You know? It's raining, but there's no super gusty wind. There's a real feeling of, you know, anticipation and stuff. You know? Yamamoto-san visited yesterday, and if you remember the name, he's one of the young men who used to work for Adachi. And he's now an independent printer, and he's doing a lot of work for us. He's the young boy that's doing most of our work on Great Wave. I'm all over that appearance. We feed him Great Wave and something else, then Great Wave and something else. That's about it. He's also working for the press, of course. He doesn't want to put all his X-Men baskets. So we've offered him a full-time job. We've offered him just full-time work, you name it, but uh, he won't... Uh, he doesn't want to become dependent on a single, single source of uh, work. Anyway, he's the uh, young boy who has done the printing on the Ginza in the Rain print, you know, the new laser cut print that we uh, featured in, in our Instagram the other day. We didn't publish it ourselves, of course, but we're, we're putting it in our shop. And uh, he dropped over to chat about that. And, uh, he and the young Kashiwagi san, the guy who published it, you know, cut the blogs and published it. They opened their website for it last week, October the 4th, I guess. And then they gave us, they put some copies in our shop here for us to go. And so far, I haven't checked last night's email, but so far up until last night, there have been nine orders here for that print. It's, it's got off to a nice comfortable start. It's not a rocket ship takeoff, but it's a nice comfortable start. And uh, we, so we asked him for more. He, he had left four copies with us and they sold out right away. So we asked him for more. And now Yamoto-san came over yesterday, and they're a little bit uh, curious and concerned about what's going on. They opened up their own website, the Japanese side, and I guess they haven't actually sold any yet. And they're kind of concerned. They were thinking it's because, oh my God, people don't like this because it's laser cut or something like this. And I don't really know. It turned out that anyway, nobody's bought it from their own website. And they're semi-panicking already, like after the first week. And they're worried about this because they think, are they up on the wrong track? Because they're doing it by laser, nobody would want this thing. It's the impression they got from their own side, the Japanese website. So he was over to chat about this. And I, I had to tell him, look, guys, don't sweat this. You know, If you make an interesting, beautiful, well-made product that's in, you know, what if interesting, what if you come back to it? And there will be people out there who will want to, uh, want to own it. Oops, excuse me, excuse me.
Yeah, the typhoon, the typhoon. I'm still okay. Nothing, just rain, light rain so far. Grizzly rain. Expected to hit where we are right here. It's this evening, six, seven, eight o'clock, whatever. You can hear a hammering sound every now and then. I'm not sure. Not sure what you mean. There's, there's the strongest sound I can hear. We, when we came into the first floor, we moved our barren sign up on the front, and the, there's a little tiny eave above the front door. You know, what's it called an eave to stop the rain from hitting just in front of the door? And that was broken, so we renovated that and put an aluminum, I don't know, metal aluminum flashing on the top. <coughs> and now when rain falls from the third floor balcony, it hits that, that thing, dang, dang, dang. So I can hear boom, 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 water dropping on top of the aluminum. Those are you hearing, I don't know, whatever. It's really raining out there now, look at that, raining, raining, raining. The train lines, the train lines, the train lines. Here, here's the, just before I came on the stream this morning, I went to the JR page, they, they had a PDF. Here it is. Here's the, here was the plan as of, uh, as of about 50, 30 minutes ago, this was the plan. The lines are shutting down one by one by one. And they're expected to shut down for about 24 hours. The idea for Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, is they can't announce the opening time yet because they have no idea how much damage is going to happen tonight. But as of the next couple of hours, one by one by one, the local trains are shutting down. And the best source, I think, for you guys, for this, the best source for information is go to the NHK World website. NHK World. It's live broadcasting, and I don't think they're going to interrupt all their programming all day long for this. But there's a news report on the hour, there's typhoon updates every now and then, and they have a special page of typhoon news. So we go to NHK World, it's live broadcasting. I myself don't have a TV here. You know, if we had an actual television set, we would keep it on the main NHK channel because that's your, that's the source of information. They tie directly into the government offices, the weather, you know, agency and stuff like that.
Cool conversation. I'm missing all this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wow. Too much here. Sorry about this. Questions, whatever, sir.
Look at all the story of this last section here. So it's just this little yaw. Okay, that's one more line there, I think. Might have forgotten a bit of it, I'm not sure, I can't see here. It's good, clear. After test printing this stuff, there's going to be a ton of cleanup, you know, because there's lots of things, like the corners of some of these, the angles, how thin the piece comes up. Lots and lots of these will need to be adjusted, you know. Just can't see them at this stage, so. After test printing, it'll be days of work to go through this again and, and slice up. Okay, that's one row clear, so let's clear the next row out. One side of it is already open, so let's get down here, carve away roughly first to get close. Is that the banging you were talking about? It is. That's the rain falling on the aluminum flashing outside. Kind of a random drumming sound. It's getting heavier out there, I think. Still no wind, though. You can see the rain's just falling straight down. Yes, sandbags are at the door, yes, yes, this is the leading edge of the typhoon. Yesterday, Aoyama-san, he was preparing the sandbag series. I've got him stacked here inside the front window. When he, he prepared them last night, he started stacking them outside the window there. I'm saying, no, Aoyama-san, please bring them inside. He's like, what do you mean? If the flood comes up, we're going to close the door and stack the sandbags outside it. We can't do it that way, because if that's the way we're doing it, I can't get inside. But once the door's closed, only one door here. There's no back door. There's no nothing. And if we're having a semi-flood situation, I want to be here. I've got to pick some boxes up, move them around, whatever. So we put the sandbags inside the door. I'll be here this evening when this is happening. And if the water does start to come up on the street, up go the bags inside the door so that I can open it and get out and get in. I can't go home now, trains are done. I, know, I was really mixed feelings. I, my first choice was actually to go home out to Ome because I really wanted to watch over that place a bit more carefully. This place, I think, is tight. I could have picked up the prints off the floor and just left and gone home to Ome. I'm worried there about windows being popped out by the, by the storm. And if that happens, that any room will be just totally destroyed, saturated. So I would rather have been in Ome. But there's some people, eight people, had a print party reserved for this morning. They're staying in a hotel nearby, and they asked to specifically do it. They've got nothing else to do today. 
So I, I stayed behind to do this. Uh, all the staff was gone. There's no trains running for this afternoon. And I have no idea when the trains will come back. They've scheduled them for tomorrow noon, but it's all totally dependent on damage from the typhoon. So it's okay, the only house will have to take care of itself and uh, we'll watch over this place. Uh, and once this stream is finished, then the party, the people are coming for the party this morning, eight people. Once they're done, that's it. I am heading upstairs. I've got some printing to do, the test printing on the uh, gift print. I am just going to spend like 24 hours on that. Don't disturb me. I made, <coughs> I made the paper wet last night, 150 sheets of it. It's sitting over on the bench here. I did the sizing two days before, pressed the paper yesterday under the etching press, moistened it last night, and I am ready for 150 sheets of the gift print. I'm not going to do the whole thing by myself. I'll be doing the key block and the hair. The girls are going to take over for, for the, all the rest of it. And as soon as we get a good sample, it'll be scanned up on the website and open for business. So it'll be a couple of days yet. I'd originally said around the 10th of October. I didn't make it because Sugasan's test printing wasn't, uh, wasn't quite there yet. But, uh, but we will be up and running in a couple of days. The yeah, Omi, the house will be okay. There's three, there's three dangers out there in the Omi house. One is flood because it's next to a river, but actually it's space. The, the house is on the side of the mountain that overlooks the river. And the other side of the river is low lying land. I checked this out carefully before I bought that place. We looked at it. If there's a tree falls down in the river below my house, water backs up and the level of the water comes up and up and up. It spills away on the other side before it could possibly come up into my house. So unless I'm totally wrong on this, there's no flood danger at my house in Omen. The other danger, number two danger, could be the mountain behind us could slip and slide down, in which case it's, it's game over all over the place. And that happens sometimes in Japan where you've got mountain sides that have been left abandoned. They cut the trees down, leave it open and stuff like that. That's not the case with ours. This is inside the city. So people are really quite careful about this because there's so many houses below it. So the forest up above my home is really still quite, quite good. It's quite there. It's got a strong forest. I have no idea what the geological structure of the mountain is inside it, but I don't think there's a major danger of, of a landslide there. Again, who knows, but uh, but the one I am worried about is the actual wind force. Because the house sits in a quite exposed position, the wind and rain blowing, and I could easily imagine an upstairs window popping out. And that's the risk I would like to have been there to, to try and defend against. So we'll see, whatever. The house will probably survive, I'm sure. Nobody will be hurt, but I might get some stuff wet. And the risk here in Asakusa is really only one. It's the risk of water coming up on that street because this is a very low-lying area here. Now we've kept this under consideration. There's no print storage here on the first floor. There's no boxes of prints on the floor. And before tonight, I'll go around the room again, making sure there's nothing important at that ground level here. from Tokyo. It's northwest from here. It's about 40 kilometers northwest of downtown Tokyo. It's still in Tokyo. How far above the water is my studio? Oh, it's, it's up, 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 up. I know. It's a four-story structure where the girls do the printing and I do the printing. It's about 
five meters above water level or so. It's really, really quite up there. The river is quite down, four meters maybe, something like that, I don't know. There's a whole ground level below. I'm in B2, the second basement. There's a whole ground level below that. We can walk enough below that, and then we go down the steps into the river. So it's two meters below the floor and another three meters down. So yeah, we're okay. Seems to be quieting down about outside there. The rain seems to have let up a bit. That's the way it works with the typhoon, you know, it's, it's, it's heavy and light and heavy and light as the thing swirls around. Rain seems to have let up a bit. to check before starting the stream if there have been any news on the rugby cancellations because uh, there's quite a big fight brewing on that it seems. It might have been decided by now, I didn't tell it. A couple of the games scheduled for Saturday were cancelled. This is the Rugby World Cup that's going on here. But the two games that were cancelled weren't games that were going to materially affect the course of the tournament. One of them was England-France and both of those teams had already gone through to the to the next to, to the knockout stage. And the, so canceling that game didn't really kick anybody out of the tournament. Then one more, they canceled, uh, what was it? Uh, Italy versus somebody, I forget who it was, but uh, Italy versus New Zealand. But again, that didn't materially affect it. Italy didn't have much chance anyway, I guess. They're, they're upset, but they didn't really change things. But tomorrow's game between Japan and Scotland is a critical game. Winner goes through, loser doesn't go through. And that's scheduled for tomorrow, but it looks like the trains are not going to be running. So the Rugby World Cup organizing people are pretty much almost uh, certainly going to cancel that game, which means that Japan ends up going through, Scotland goes home. And I was looking at BBC News last night, and the Scots are already up in arms. Don't you even think about this. Let's play. I don't care how heavy the typhoon is. I get their idea. They want to play, of course. They want to go through to the, to the finals. And the organizers are saying things like, look, if a tree falls on a spectator on the way to the game, we're in big trouble. We can't, uh, you know, we can't take that responsibility. So I guess there's threats of lawsuits already. So in last night's news, I haven't seen an update this morning. And the organizers, being of course mostly Japanese, are in a tough position if they cancel that Japan goes through. So, would not want to be in that decision making team.
Did I hear a truck out there? What? There's no garbage today. What is it? Saturday. Yeah, the, the announcement here, Phil, that was yesterday's announcement. So they canceled those two games. It's the next game, tomorrow's game. That is the one that's uh, no, still up in air. Today's games were canceled, but they really didn't affect the course of the tournament so much. Of course, big deal for the fans and players of those particular games, but the course of the tournament wasn't changed, materially changed. The Scotland-Japan game, somebody goes home, somebody pr proceeds. And if they cancel it, Japan goes through, Scotland goes home. And I, one of the arguments I saw last night from the Scots team, they're getting ready to go to court to stop this. Their point was that, look, don't cancel the game, cancel the fans. You know, just tell everybody it's a close game. Stay home. Watch it on TV. The players, they don't care about a typhoon. This is rugby, for God's sake. They don't care. Just give them a piece of grass, two goal posts, one at each end, and a ball. That's it. They will decide. They don't, they're not, they don't care about danger from a typhoon. But it's the fans. So close the game. That's all you got to do. I, that's their argument as far as I understood it. And it's not like we didn't have notice of this. This thing has been coming, churning, getting closer for like a week now. It's not like there should have been no plan B. You know. I see their point, absolutely, I get their point. And maybe that's the decision that will come down tomorrow, but the game will proceed behind closed doors. Yeah, I see. I do hear a garbage truck out there. It's not a city truck, it's a private garbage collection. The bars were open last night, so there is garbage out there to be picked up. You saw that garbage truck. It's actually really not a bad idea because uh, bags of garbage or whatever they're left out there, if they were any really left out there, they're just going to blow all over town. So this is not a bad idea. Dinosaurs, you're my dinosaurs. 
how many color blocks? This, this print, the, the octopus print here is four pieces of wood carved on both sides. So there's eight, there will be eight impressions in the print itself. And this one, the calligraphy, will be, it's the final one being carved and it'll also be the final one printed. In the original print, the original book, the calligraphy was carved on the key block to save time, print the lines of the design along with the lettering at the same time. We've kept it on a different block because there's the idea to put out the print in a version without calligraphy, which is admittedly kind of messy, kind of scrambled, and is of no interest to many Westerners who just want to look at the lady and the octopus. So that's the current plan, and when we do finally publish this thing, we'll put it out in two versions. <coughs> Excuse me, with and without calligraphy. Totally quiet up there now. Can't hear any rain, can't hear any wind, can't hear anything. No people.
these people that are coming is that eight of them coming for this pink party and the original plan we normally only do one pink party in the morning at 10 o'clock sometimes when there's a request for an early one we'll do you know four or five people we do it at 8 30 so it's finished by 9 30 ready for the, the normal one at 10. Well, when these people booked this one it was eight people so we chatted about what to do we can't do eight people in one session there's not enough room there's not space in the room so we talked about just splitting them into two groups eight people would go four and four and then we set it to come at 9.30 and then 10.30. So four people at 9.30 and four people at 10.30. And the idea when you do a party like that is that four people do it, the other four go out sightseeing, they go to St. Soji, walk around, do this or do that, have a cup of coffee or whatever. Then they switch out after one hour, four people come back and the other four people go out. I'm not sure how that's going to work this morning. I'm not sure what's actually going to happen here at 9.30. All eight people may possibly just show up here at 9.30. I'm not sure how to handle it because we can't do it with eight. It just doesn't work. The room doesn't fit. But they can't go outside to so I should So I should have perhaps clarified it with them before we got this going. But they're in their hotel nearby. Just send over the first four people. And when they go back, send over the next four people, something like this. And that's it. So we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. And then as I said, once they're out of here, that's it. Down comes the shutter. Up comes my baron. And it's printing time for day.
how much you can see, you know. I'm going to need lots of adjustments on this. You know, the letters are cut in their normal shapes. But lots of places where the letters have a curve at the end or how thin they go in the middle. I can't see this at this point, so lots of them are going to get adjusted later. But, uh, it's just too close, I'm sorry. You know? If I had succeeded with that idea of getting a camera looking down through the scope, work like this would be much more interesting for people to watch, but uh, we still haven't got that one cracked. You know? A microscope view camera. I bought one a few months ago, but it just did not, uh, did not perform. You know? The light levels, I guess, are too low, and uh, the frame rate, that gave me two, two FPS, you know, so can't run video at two FPS. So the gear is there, waiting for me to do some more experiments with it, maybe get some special bright lights, put the camera back on. When will the new gift print go on the site? I'm printing today upstairs if we get a good one. Remember, I'm doing the head. I'm doing the key block and the gray hair in the head. And it goes to the girls. They won't be here tomorrow because the trains are still stopped. They'll be here Monday, and they're going to do a couple more test prints based on what I do. So it's possible Monday night we'll have a good print. I don't know. A few more days. A few more days. Is there a question for me here? What's this? What's this? Did you catch John? Senjafuda. You can see sometimes if you Google it, it's Senjafuda. S-E-N-J-A-F-U-D-A. -E There's two ways to transliterate it into Japanese. So if you search for Senjafuda or Senjafuda. The matchbox prints we're talking about, there is no single name for those. I know matchdabe is one word. There's also similar prints called pochi bukuro. Those are the ones that are the actual envelopes. Pochi, pouch, bukuro, fukuro, pouch, bags. Pochi bukuro, matchdabe, senjafuda, senjafuda. I'm not sure what else we might have been talking about. It's the top of the hour now, so NHK News must be live with a typhoon report. NHK World will have a report running right now about the typhoon. For me now, I'll be out of here in a bit. This is now 9 o'clock. The party is scheduled for 9.30 with eight people. I should go back there and do a bit of prep. So maybe we'll run this till about 9.15, 9.20, somewhere around there. I have a very, very small, tiny show and tell for, for a few seconds. For those of you who've stayed with me this long this morning on what's a not so interesting stream today, sorry. We have a very shiny, tiny show and tell before I sign off. Although the girls upstairs would not want me to show this to you, but whatever. The rain's come, calm down to show you can barely see it. Is it actually raining? Yeah, it's chop, 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 chop. That's the way it's going to go over the next few hours. It'll, it'll stop and start and stop and start. <coughs> and then in the evening here, once it starts to get darker, so. Now somebody dropped me an email this morning and said, Dave, do a typhoon cam. And I'll put the camera up this evening or this afternoon. It shows the typhoon. There's really not much point in that. It's happening tonight. It'll be in the dark. It's just whatever. There's nothing to it. Nothing to show. I don't have a good viewpoint to hear waves crashing over the shoreline. You know.
Will there be a stream Monday? I believe so. It should be normal for us by Monday. The trains are going to be off tonight. The trains will be stopped Sunday morning. From Sunday afternoon, we'll be back to business. So there'll probably be no staff again because they can't get in Sunday morning. So I'll be here by myself today and all day Sunday. By Monday, things should be back to normal. I believe it's all up to how much damage. If there's heavy, heavy damage from the storm tonight, power might be out, trains might be off. So maybe I'll just post a note Monday. Sorry, there's nothing going on. You know. Yeah, the JR suspension is announced until at least noon on Sunday, and then in quotes after that, damage, damage inspection, and then away they go. Hmm. Yeah, last minute bit run. I did it before, for me. I just did that just before the stream started, 8.30. I went out to the convenience store. Shelves are stripped bare. I had to go to the frozen food section, get a few things, stand by here. So I've got some food for tonight and tomorrow. I'm not too sad about this. I'm really looking forward to getting some private testing time up there, upstairs, next to us, once this print party's out of the way. I, I'm looking forward to doing some test printing on that uh, on the chrysanthemum print. So. As I said, I, I think I'd rather be out in Omei to check over the house, but now that that's all decided, now that I'm here, I'll just get printing.
missing questions here. I'm sorry. Maybe you're talking about something else, are you? Not, not for me to show. Okay. Hi, hi. Twitch settings. Times of Tiny Show and Tell. Hi, hi, hi. I guess so. But again, I, I just want to show you something and then shut this down. So just give me a few more minutes here. Look at this rain coming back again. Let me check my mailbox here. Anything in the email? Cancellations? What's happening? No, no cancellations. So the people perhaps will be here this morning. Let's see. Let's see. I mentioned the magic words show and tell and nobody can sign off until I've done that. Is it, is it the big draw then? Is that what's happening with these things? I didn't think about that. Come to see our stream. 90 minutes of boring crap followed by something interesting. <laughs> is, that the idea? is that what these have become? Range already picking up again, eh? Hey? Oh, look at this. It's straight. Not a breath of wind. It's just whap, straight down. What is it? 9.20. Those people are supposed to be here at 9.30. <laughs> They're out in this right now on their way from the hotel. <laughs> Party time. All the other print parties that were scheduled for today have all been from people who were staying in different parts of Tokyo. <clears throat> and they have no access to this place. The trains are, are coming down. So, But this particular group are staying in a hotel right here, just around the corner. So it makes sense, just let's just do this, you know. Instead of having him just sit in there and watch TV, watch weather reports. You know. I hear voices, is that them?
All right, let's get this going. Okay, they should be here any minute. I should perhaps open the shutter a bit wider so they can get in without smacking their heads. Show and tell, show and tell, show and tell. You know what this is going to be? I'm not supposed to do this. The girls upstairs would be upset. The key block is here. The color blocks are here. The first test printing is be going on upstairs. Sugasan's done some tests. Uh, Daychan's done some tests. Kawaii-san is partway through a test. I haven't done a test or anything at all. Is Cameron watching the stream? How do I know? Let's have a look. Here is the first test print of our lady. There's the first test print. Now, this is not, not good enough yet, but it's enough to tell me that this block set is going to work. It's going to work. We're still nowhere near having a print that's saleable. There's lots of things wrong with it. Just you can see, for example, the kimono here needs to be trimmed. There's stuff at the back needs to be trimmed. The printing on the key block is still not vivid enough. Uh, the hair needs to come round a bit more. And the lilac color, I think, should be a bit cleaner. This is a bit too much dirty. We are close, you know. We are close. The original was, what was it, 23 impressions, 26 impressions, and this is now down to 8. And we've got it close. This green should be deeper. I wanted a bit more vivid green here. I've still got to trim the green blocks. They're sticking over the back. I zoom, please, more. I don't want to zoom too close. These girls would be upset about this. Give away. No way. My God, they would have my balls if I did that. No. No giveaway. Nothing. You're going to get just this little view. That's all. There's a ding out here. Do you see this? There's a little ding. What it is, it's supposed to be one of these light colors that goes inside the flowers. When I prepared the key block, for, the, the, the block for that, I mis misunderstood. There was a dirt speck on the paper and I carved it. So I've got to carve that off. But this is the same block that is to print the flowers. So I've got to carve that off. So there's a ton of issues with this, but crap, it's going to be okay, you know? It's going to be okay. The gradient around the flowers, I don't know. They did a bunch that had more, and it doesn't work so much. The gradient here around these flowers, if you do it too much, <coughs> it takes it away. It takes it away from the flowers. And it also, there's a problem with this. When the gradient there gets too deep, remember, we feathered these off. The gradient, I mean, the, the background gradient block and the flower block actually overlap. And what it turned out, if you put too much gradient, you get a zigzag edge on the flowers. So we're going to play it down. We're going to put just enough gradient in there just to show that there's something there and the rest of it just disappears into nothing. I don't care. Can't see that flower. I don't really care as long as it, there's sort of something on the paper. The flowers aren't embossed. Nothing's embossed. What you're seeing is an embossing effect is the parts that are printed, the paper gets flat. The parts that are not printed, the paper stays up. This is also not a good feature here. On the original I did, there was a skin tone. And we printed that before the key block to flatten the entire paper. This doesn't have a skin tone. So it leaves a bit too much puffiness in her fingers and nose. You can see it here. Her nose looks puffy, which is not good. So what we might do is after the printing is finished, we might calendar the back again to flatten it up. I'm not sure. Anyway, we are going to be there. This is uh, just the second test print. We'll see. The chrysanthemum looks dark. This one, yeah, and this is the scaling effect. I carved the same number of lines in the original, but when you pull it down, the density changes, the, the blackness per square centimeter changes. I can't get those lines any thinner, not make them printable. But because of the scaling, the density doesn't work. So I should have perhaps redrawn it, taken out some petals. Can't be helped. When you look at it compared to the original, this flower looks blacker than the flower in the original. That's what you get when you make a smaller version. So fewer lines, pull some lines out. What am I gonna do at this point? Each petal is just bordered left and right of each petal. I did pull lines out of the hair to make this less dense. Scaling is tough. Scaling is tough. 
She's a bit pale. She's a lot pale. Yeah, what's different from the original? Skin tone is missing, uh, the jewel is missing, there's one color on the kimono missing, the original has two shades of green, there was one extra block in the hair, there's lots and lots of differences from the original. But uh, Yeah, one petal was removed, yes, so, so, so. How did the hair crossing go? I don't know, you tell me, I can't see it. I mean, come on, this is actually okay, you know. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Can, this, can we get any closer? Here we go. And the other problem too is that this is one, she made a batch of four or five, and this is one I can show you out of four or five, but uh, we're gonna have to make 500 of these things in, in the next few weeks. So I don't know. I would like more black around the front of her hair. It's really difficult to do. This should be black right here. Anyway, there we are. I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to shut this down now because I've got to get the brushes ready for the print party. If they don't come, I won't be too uh, upset because it means I can get to work on this. The eyes are open, yeah. Look at that. Her eyes are open at this scale. There's my finger. <laughs> Don't tell the girls I showed you this, okay? Because they are really thinking this is not ready for prime time. Don't. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See you later. So it sounds like they've split it up four and four. Yeah. It sounds like that. Okay, guys. I'm shutting this down. I'll see you Monday morning. Okay. See you soon. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Nothing much happening today. Good luck. Bye-bye. Over and out.